Chris, you had some huge trees uh, in this game, yeah. including that one that when Magnolia was trailing by only two. Yeah. Just talk about your shooting this day. I'm just comfortable with that shot, man. I've been I've been doing this for a long time. And, uh, me and Jumar have a connection, so uh, that's when I'm free, I shoot it. There's only two things you can do, go in or, or, or miss. So I got some to fall today. And, uh, some of them were big, some of them were early in the game. But, uh, yeah, you got to have gotta have guts to take those shots. And I've been in so many close games that I'm fine with, I'm fine with the results. And as long as I put in the work, I'm fine with the results. Is there a reason why you're, of course, you're known as a defensive player. Uh, are you really... Like uh, doing extra in shooting. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I do my thing, but a lot of guys, you guys act like it's a surprise. I've, I've made ten threes in a game. I've made nine threes in a game. I've made eight threes in a game. Uh, if, if I'm open, I'm a shooter. So it's yeah, it's getting close to playoff time too. So I'm ramping up my my workouts and getting my body right for these playoff this playoff run and uh, just trying to. But just I've just been trying to stay healthy this whole time, and now I'm starting to. Ramp up and get ready for the playoffs. Uh, you're three wins away from the sweeping the elimination round. Uh, we, we haven't talked about it one time. We just we're worried about each game, game by game. I, I honestly didn't know that we were 7-0 until one of the coaches told me. I knew we haven't lost, but I didn't know how many games we won. So it's not really. We haven't talked about it one time. We're just we're going in there. We're working hard. We're uh, approaching each game the same. Uh, and if it, if it comes as a win, it comes as a win. <laughs> this, this guy, man. This guy doesn't take nothing serious. <laughs> Life's not serious to him, man. Chris, just talk about the value of um, having to put away a uh, tough a snail's team like that, just as you were, just as you guys are, like, sustaining this winning streak. Uh, we, we, know, we know what type of team this is. Like, we just played them in a six-game series, what, a month and a half ago, I think. And I mean, even though they're without Gio, they, they're they very well coached. And Coach coach Chito doesn't take anything, but they're but like, he wants their best, and they give him their best every time. So you know, we know every time we play them, it's going to be a dog fight. Like, I think we got up to a 20 point lead, and they cut it down to, I think, a two point game in the last last few minutes of the game. But we know every time we play those guys, it's going to be a dog fight. And uh, we, I think we get, our, we, we get everyone's best shot. So. Uh, we know we got a target on our back, and uh, we're just we're just trying to get better every day and, and try to uh, play to the best of our ability. Um, as, um, I guess since you're one of the like assistant coaches now, who's playing right now, what would you uh, warn this team from as you? Uh, just not being complacent. Uh, it's so easy to be complacent after you won however many games in a row. And, uh, I think we I think we've locked up top two maybe. Uh, we're, we're a game away or something, but uh, just to be like, you look ahead and try to, you'll get complacent. But uh, Coach Coach George does a good job of keeping it, keeping us humble and making sure we're working hard and treating every game like it's uh, with with the respect that it deserves. So um, we're rolling right now, but we we want to. I feel like we can get better, and I think we will get better when these next few games come in and the playoffs come. In.